What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren, if you're new here, and I just really wanted to say thank you so much for all of your guys' support on my last video that I put live. I wasn't planning on making that video live. When the news broke that I didn't get the job, I thought it would be kind of fun to show you guys the video that I did work really hard on, so I really appreciate all the kind, nice, supportive things you guys had to say on my video. If you haven't watched it, go look at it if you'd like. I wanted to make this video right here just to kind of explain the interview process because I found it, it was really interesting. Before I go any further, I really do want to say congratulations to Brian West on getting the Taylor Swift reporter job. This is a huge milestone in the entire Swifty universe. No other job like this has ever existed and Brian could not be a more perfect candidate for this job. Guys, he is a two-time Emmy winning journalist. He's got eight years of journalist reporter background. He used to work for Gannett. Him and I actually jumped on a FaceTime. We've been texting all things Swifty while she's in Argentina right now. Guys, I'm so excited for him to do this job. I'm gonna include links in the description to his first few USA Today articles. I hope that you guys can go over there and give him some love. Brian has become a fast friend of mine. He's gonna crush it. He's already doing such a great job on all this Grammy coverage in Argentina, all the crazy things going down. Did you see that people are camping out? Camping out for months, five months in order to attend Buenos Aires, Argentina. Brian made an article about this, so go click the link, go give him some support. I just truly want you guys to know there is absolutely, LOL, no bad blood. I didn't mean for that to come off so cheesy, but it's true. I'm very excited for him, and he was even nice enough to quote me. In the Grammy nomination article that he wrote, just, he's great, he's amazing. Anyways, back to this video. Um, if this is your first time on my channel, hi, I'm Lauren, you should subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've actually been doing very well on TikTok. I'm very proud of myself. I'm finally getting it. it. Took me longer than I thought, but like I said, I filmed a lot of footage around this Taylor Swift reporter interview process just because I was so excited. There's nothing like this that's ever existed. And I did film some of my phone calls and I just thought it would be really fun to show you some of this footage and to like document it for me and myself because I am extremely proud that I made it into the top eight out of hundreds of applicants. That video over there was the reason and I think that's really cool. Anyways, let's get into it. So I applied for the Taylor Swift job after, if you watch the video application, you already know this. I applied for the job after a bunch of you guys sent me all these DMs and messages like, Lauren, you have to apply. So then I applied the very next day. Honestly, guys, I think I spent like two full eight hour days working on the video, working on the pre-screening interview stuff. I didn't hear back until this date. Ask me why I'm putting on lipstick for what I'm pretty sure is a phone call, but makes me feel a little better. Um, got an email the other morning. This footage could be going nowhere. You know, last time I filmed something before I knew what was happening was the Taylor Swift Ticketmaster disaster, and you know, that turned out positive, so I hope that this footage goes. I guess if, even if I don't get it, this could still be interesting footage. I'm nervous. <laughs> Right now I am meeting with the talent acquisition manager. I was really excited. I got the email at 7.08, September 26th. And then I woke up at like, my body like woke me up at 7.15 and I was like, cool, Matt's not up. I'm gonna check my phone. I got the email back because I hadn't heard anything. I hadn't heard anything. I applied September 13th, two weeks ago today. And I heard back yesterday. And when I worked in corporate America, back in 2013, 14, 15, recruiters were like, nice and friendly. Hi, Lauren, nice to meet you. We're so excited. And again, this is nothing to do against this man. He's just doing his job. It was just, it's just very matter of fact. Hello, Lauren. I would love to set aside about 15 minutes for a quick conversation. There was no like, hi, Lauren, the hiring managers really liked this, blah, blah, blah. They wanna get to know you. You're, you're being moved along to this first round. No congratulations, none of that. Just very, confirm the time zone, do not alter the file name or the file type, and no typos. The screening questions are a part of the valuation process that will be reviewed by our hiring leaders, period. I'm being dramatic because there was periods. Um, you know how periods make like a sentence more dramatic in text? So I literally spent eight hours, eight full hours, I didn't get anything done yesterday except for this, eight full hours answering their lengthy pre-interview questionnaire. I probably didn't need to be, I don't know, I kind of worried that some of my answers were a little too long, but I really, I wanted to be thorough and I wanted to show my personality and that I can write and that I can write in a way that engages people, but I kind of wonder if like my writing style is like a little bit too formal. I don't know, I'm talking because I'm nervous. It's 1.25. Uh, all he said back was, no worries, period. 
and then sent me a calendar invite. There was no, does this time work for you? It was just no worries. I was like, okay. Uh, God forbid 1.30 didn't work for me. It does. Shelby is in town right now, staying on my couch because she's about to move back to LA. And I can't, oh, makes me so freaking happy. I could cry thinking about it, but not going to get ahead of myself, even though I already am. I already am ahead of myself. Before this call, in four minutes, I would like to congratulate myself <laughs> because I want to celebrate little wins. Um, the job posting went up September 12th and I sent in my application September 13th. And Aaron, a bunch of my friends were like, so have you like told your followers to tag the USA Today recruiters and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I'm totally gonna do that. And then I put so much work into that application and the video cover letter. And then I was just kind of like, you know, I think I'm not going to ask my followers to do that. Like, I understand you always got to shoot your shot and that is something that normally I would want to do, but I don't know. Anyways, what I'm trying to say congratulations to myself for is that I didn't do that and they still got back to me. So that's a win. Even if nothing happens, whatever. I'm going to allow myself to feel this excitement right now. All right, 127. <sighs> He didn't say it was a Zoom. It just says on the calendar invite, discuss Taylor Swift reporter role. Nick will call Lauren. There's no Zoom link. I hope to God this is not appropriate attire, but I did put on earrings and lipstick. I don't know why. Maybe just for me. This is, call is probably gonna be no big deal, but good luck to me. Wish me luck. See you on the other side. Bye. Chester go? Ah. Yes, I did. Oh my god, Shelby, he starts the phone call. Remember how I was like, I shouldn't be excited because he didn't say anything like nice or like anything uh -huh. like congrats. He started the call going, first off, I want to say congratulations. We got hundreds of applicants. We have narrowed it down to eight. You're one of eight. Wow! Oh, not to freak you out, Chester, but wow! You know, like an American Idol? I'm in the top eight! The top eight! <laughs> That was my experience with the recruiter. He could not have been nicer. I really, I really loved talking to him. He was hyping me up the whole time and in no way am I ever trying to like talk bad about anyone throughout this process. I just, I don't know. Nothing like this has ever existed. I wonder when they're going to announce the Beyonce position. Today, actually, they announced the new Beyonce reporter role today. Here she is, congratulations. Cannot wait to learn more about you had to throw this in so that I was a uh, topical. <laughs> Another exciting thing that happened was I got a random email the other day from a New York Times reporter that she wanted to interview me for an article regarding the online reaction. That was kind of cool and a little nerve wracking. I, she was so nice. I do want to say that as well. I love that she was a Swifty too. She found me through my tweets. Um, I tweeted about it. The tweet got like a million point four views. I also don't know if Twitter's analytics where it says like the impressions. I don't know if I believe that. Anyways, this New York Times reporter saw my tweet, contacted me through that, and just wanted to talk to me about the job interview process. That article did go up, I'll include it, and I think it's pretty cool that even though there was random negative online reaction, that I got to be a part of the positive, hell yes, a win for any Swifties, a win for all Swifties train. Well, here we are again. Um, today's been crazy. The last couple nights have been crazy. Um, I do want to truly, oh, she's calling. Uh, long story short, I'm having a call with the New York Times right now, right this second. Where is my phone? Hello? Hi, is this Lauren? Yes, it is. I would absolutely say that I'm a Taylor Swift content creator. If you were to type in my name in Google Trends, you would see that Lauren Lippman Taylor Swift is the biggest SEO search term for my name. <laughs> I turned the camera on and I just started talking. I didn't want to have anything super scripted because I have so many scripted videos on my channel out there already. I just wanted to show my genuine, yeah. honest excitement and how I can just pull up Swifty knowledge at the drop of a hat. I went through like periods of being upset yesterday and you know, of I'm, I'm a little, of course. of course. I'm bummed, but I'm honestly truly so excited that this position even exists. Like go Brian, like that's pretty badass. Um, I looked at his video, he's an award-winning journalist, like Emmy nominated winning, that's, that is very cool. And yeah, that's pretty 
much it. I didn't want to make this a super long video. Just, you know, I filmed this stuff, wanted to show it to you. It's kind of like a monumentous thing. I wonder if any other companies are going to create celebrity focused roles like this. I mean, it would make sense, don't you think? I found the most interesting was, and guys, I am not a sports person. I mean, like, sure, sports, go sports. But like, there are some people that are comparing Brian's role to, well, if you cover a home team, like if you are the Kansas City Chiefs sports reporter, like, how can you be unbiased, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm sorry. Do people not wear jerseys, paint their faces while they go to football games? What do Swifties do? Friendship bracelets. We dress up, we glitter, we bedazzle, we do it all. I actually find the fandom of sports and the fandom of Taylor Swift, Beyonce to be very, very similar. So I do wonder if other companies would follow USA Today's lead and create more roles like this. I think it would be smart, honestly. Like, I understand that the, the landscape of the news media world is changing, but you gotta get with the times if you wanna get the attention of the Gen Z. Like, as time goes on, you gotta, you have to be able to adapt. So. I just find that really interesting. Guys, I would love to know your thoughts, any and all of your thoughts on everything that I talked about today down below in those comments. And please go show my friend Brian some love on his USA Today articles. Go follow him on Instagram and on Twitter and all of the places. He is extremely organized. We like got into this conversation of like random Swifty conspiracy theories. He's the real deal, you guys. You're gonna love his coverage. Make sure you go show him some love. And yeah, uh, a, a huge thank you to you guys for letting me know that this role exists for cheering me on, for liking, commenting, following, just, you're awesome. I really appreciate it. It's a really cool, weird world that we're in. Like, isn't it cool that we're in a world where there's a Taylor Swift Beyonce role? What? That, if you would have told five years ago Lauren, like, it's just, it's very cool. And I love documenting little teeny tiny moments like this because we just don't know what's gonna happen in the future with all of this. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little random vloggy video? I don't even know what you would call it. Also, I'm just so excited for all my international people to finally experience Taylor Swift. The energy for Argentina was unmatched, truly, like so unmatched. Guys, I have been like talking in real time on Instagram and on Twitter, all of these fun, exciting things, following on the shows. Um, I think I made a YouTube short about this, but the funny thing that Cam says during We Are Never Getting Back Together, I love that they change it for every single country. It's just, it's so fun. I'm so happy the Eras Tour is back, you guys. Like, this is my Super Bowl. It's the Swifty Bowl. Do any of you guys play Swift Ball? Because I feel like I need to make a whole video on that. It's just, it's a wild time. I hope that you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video at all, please make sure you leave it a like. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Guys, I'm on Cameo. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but I recently got approved for Cameo. So go check it out. If you would like a personalized video from me for your friend's birthday or just anything at all, you can click the link down below because your girl's on Cameo now. All right, that was a long-winded outro. And to join me in my outro, <laughs> I woke him up for this. Chester would like to say thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. I love you.